Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo piece tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make an album cover. I've done this before, but it was a retro album cover. Now I'm going to show you how to do like a rap slash hip hop cover. I mean, you be the judge of what you think it looks like and you can tweak some things to make it work for other genres. So keep that in mind as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're at photopea.com, you'll see this a new project button. Go ahead and click on that. And for the width, we're going to type in 1600 by 1600. This is just going to make a big square. So now we can bring our picture in. I'm just going to bring a picture from a video game I play. And this is my character sitting on a bench. So I thought it worked pretty good for an album cover. So I decided to go with it. So we're going to do it. And the game is called Final Fantasy if you are interested. It's just an MMO game, not sponsored. So yeah, we're just gonna expand that to fill in the whole box. And the name of my character is actually Bardy Hard because I was a bard in this game. And there's a song called Party Hard by uh, Andrew something, I don't know. But it was the theme I was going for and yeah. So we're gonna just type in some text. I think I did that a little too fast. We're gonna type in Bardy Hard or whatever your name is, right? right? Like this. Select all of it by hitting Control A. And we're gonna find a like cursive kind of font. So let's just look and see if there's any that we can use. Um, I'll be back when I figure out what I'm gonna use. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with this one called Bear Paw. It seems pretty grungy, which is what this already looks like. So I'm just gonna make that bigger by going up here and just typing in 300 or you could just manually use this little slider but it only goes to 150 so I'm going to type in 300 and yeah move that to the center double click on your text or select all of it by hitting control A go up to warp style we're going to do arc just arc it a little bit 14% works good and we're going to move it just like right above his lap like that and now we're going to get the explicit thing, so I'll be back. So this is the thing I was talking about. This will be down in the description below if you need it. So we're just going to copy that, bring it back into Photop and hit Control Alt T so we can resize it. We're just going to move it right below his feet like this. That's what they usually do, right? Um, maybe a little bit smaller. Like that. This is if you are uh, making that kind of music. Now I'm going to look up some grunge uh, overlays and I'm going to bring that in to add more layers to it. Yeah, so I looked up grunge and you can see there's a ton of these like grunge options that we can go with. Um, I think I'm going to go with something like this. So let's just bring that back into photo P. Make it a little bit bigger. And then just turn the opacity down over here. Yeah, that kind of makes it look gritty. I like that a lot. Uh, looks pretty good. And if your picture is colored, what you got to do is just click on your background. Go up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and just take the saturation out of it completely. That'll make it black and white. Um, that's why mine's already black and white, because I already did that. I forgot to mention that. So you can see the grunge is like over that now, but if we don't want that, we can just move that above the grunge layer. But it's really up to you. I accidentally just saved two PSDs somehow. I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty simple and uh, it looks pretty good as well. So let's turn the opacity down a little more. And yeah, I think that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.